Hey Libra, welcome to your January 2024 reading. We're going to start by seeing some of the zodiac signs that may play a part in your life. We see a Taurus here. Okay, some of you have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with a Taurus. I see an earth sign here. I see a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Okay, Libra. What sign will you be dealing with? All right, Sun, Moon, Arising, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Arising, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Oh, and another Virgo, Earth. I definitely see Earth in your life, and that's going to play a significant part in your, your role, whether it's as a... A special someone, a significant other, a friend, a person, and we could be talking about their rising signs too. All right, we could be talking about their, because this is the sign you're going to see the most. Looks like an earth sign. A Capricorn is probably going to ground you. I see uh, Libra, I see you with the Capricorn maybe, or Virgo, or Taurus. But these are the signs that I see a lot of grounding in January, Libra. You may actually start meditating more, longer if you already meditate. You might start meditating longer. I feel like you're going to be in your body more so you may begin like a yoga practice or something that's going to bring you into your body. Let me close the window. So I feel like your relationships are going to be grounded. I think that you're going to have a very grounded plan for your life as far as it relates to your body. You probably see a nutritionist or start eating better or start exercising a little bit more, but it's going to be routines. I see a lot of routines for some of you in January, especially if you have a, a somebody with earth around you. With this Taurus energy here, there could be a very strong emphasis on home. Home and, and making your home pretty and beautiful. There'll be an emphasis on that. And organizing. Organizing your life in January with a lot of routine and consistency. And I feel like, like the theme of January for you is routine. Like you finally learned or you're learning or, you know, you we, you feel like routine is where it's at. Oh, this is how shit gets done. Consistency. Okay. All right, let's look at raise your vibration. Let's look at raise your vibration. My breath connects me to life. Wow. Whew. That is so true. It's good to take deep breaths throughout the day. I trust the wisdom within. Hmm. I trust the wisdom within. Hmm. I clear my energy field. Huh, okay. So these are the things to do to raise your vibration to the next level. I believe
believe it's saying that as you take deep breaths, you clear your energy field and you get wisdom from the meditation that maybe you didn't have before. That's how I'm reading that. Next, we're going to hear from the oracle called The Language of Letting Go. This is about healing from codependency or any other type of over-nurturing. You know, women over-nurture. And sometimes we have to learn, you know, when it's time to take that nurturing back. Okay, trusting in life. Today I will trust that the events occurring in my life are not random. My experiences aren't mistakes and the universe, my higher power and life are not picking on me. I'm going through exactly what I need to go through to learn something valuable, something that will prepare me for the joy and love that I'm seeking. Oh, that was nice. Somebody needed to hear that. All right. What's next? Somebody feeling, I'm just happy that the Oracle spoke to you. Tell me if it was talking to you. It most certainly was talking to me. Okay. Trust in God. Hmm. Whoever your God is, and that's your business. It says, today I, will trust, today I will ask my higher power to send me his best, and I will trust that all that is good will come to me. I will remember that sometimes we don't get what we want because God has something infinitely better in store for us. Wow, yeah, I, I can see that. I remember I wanted this Section 8 apartment in Los Angeles and I didn't get it. I ended up leaving and six months, a year later, I got the most luxurious apartment for, on Section 8 just in another city. The other place was kind of like raggedy. So sometimes there's a bigger blessing waiting. Oh, this is Abraham. How did that get in here? Abraham says, physical well-being is only one good thought away. Oh, I'm so happy this came up for those of you who are suffering in your body. It says, you could have every disease known to man within you today. And if you choose different feeling thoughts tomorrow, they will all leave your body. Wow! The key is not to give any unwanted thing much attention. When it doesn't feel good, turn your attention someplace else. Oh, that's easy to do, huh? Well, in theory. Wow, I wonder how that Abraham... Well, I can see how the Abraham card got stuck in there. That was for somebody. Acting as if. Aren't these cards pretty? Today I will, if I put them down, maybe you can read them with me, huh? Let's see. I'll put it up higher so you can read it with me. Today I will try acting as if a positive form of pretending. This is a good way to get past part of a problem or overcome fears and doubts. I will act as if the situation is already resolved and get on with my life. Huh. I like that. Ooh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Yeah, so trusting in life, we got trust that events occurring in my life are not random. But, experience, but my experiences aren't mistakes. And the universe, my higher power, and life are not picking on me. I'm going through exactly what I need to go through to learn something valuable. Something that will prepare me for the joy that I'm seeking. 
I love that. Then here we talk about trust and higher power to send us his best and then receive it. And then over here, we're like, now act as if that really happened. Try acting as if. Act as if you got $2 million. Shit. All right, let's look at the Golden Career Oracle. Golden Career Oracle. Did we look at the Angels of Abundance yet? Wisdom. All right, you are called to serve as a mentor for someone. Okay, Libra as a role model and guide who can show the way. You'll probably see this person in January, and if not January, February, March, or some way, somehow, you are going through what you're going through now because you're supposed to mentor someone else through this passage. You know, you're going through the passage now, then you're gonna go back and bring somebody else through because you've already been there. See? Yeah. So this is very spiritual. You're going to be a mentor. You may know it or you may not know it. It may be somebody... It may be a whole bunch of people. You might get a class. You might, it might be your nieces or nephews. All right, let's get, see if we can get, whew, Jesus. I think that's the main thing it wants to say then. Wisdom, you are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience. That's all it's saying because nothing else came out. So we're gonna put it back. Okay, and we're going to raise our vibration here. We're going to raise our vibration. We're going to raise our vibration. Let's look at health. Let's look at health. Let's look at health. Okay. Feeling fear is a call for love. Some of you are having health problems and it's really fear in your body, okay? But you are protected from all ailments and diseases. But some of you have fear locked in your body. And one of the best things you can do is exercise, walk, jog, stretch, give the emotions a place to go, okay? Choose kindness. Be kind to your body. Lotion your body. Nurture your body. Massage your body. Take your body for a walk. Tell your body that you love it. Be good to your body. Okay. I see the Wheel of Fortune at January. Ooh, I see something good in regards to love. I see your relationship is going to take a positive turn towards the better because I saw the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Cups. Something is hidden, though. Somebody might have somebody on the side. Yeah, there could be somebody here that somebody has on the side. But I see, I see something between you and somebody 
I see a woman that's hidden. And I see a woman and a man. But I see good fortune. I see good changes happening uh, in this side relationship in January. I see you guys being, you know, um, kind of happy with each other. I feel that in the past, you guys had some really harsh times with someone. You could have even ended a relationship with someone. And you guys are going through a healing now because the heart is not broken in this deck. You guys are looking at each other and looking at yourself, number one, and seeing how you contributed to things going bad. And you're working on that and healing. I see a healing in your relationship and I see you going through a major healing. Yeah, and uh, your money in January is looking pretty good too. You get the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Cups. It's going to take about a month for everything to really... I see like clients or I see interviewing. I see some of you have already interviewed and you're going to get offered the job. I see another contract or I see and I also see a very loving relationship maybe with two different people a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces or someone that has a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn Sun Moon or Rising in their chart but I, I see you being married to someone who really loves you too there could possibly be a proposal here there's someone who's going to be in your life for a long time. They could be at a distance right now. You guys are at a distance for some reason, but there's a lot of love. And there's a lot of love going in a triangle here. I see... What happened to the Libra card? I think I might have put it away by accident. I see that... You are coming out of December with some type of business plan or some something that deals with um, something that deals with business. You might have started a business. I wonder what happened to the Libra card. Okay, I'll just pull this down then and just get it closer. I don't remember picking up the Libra card. Okay. Okay, but um, you're coming out of December with some type of business and on top of your game when it comes to money, right? But it's something that's going to take some time. I see in January you are... Um, preparing to launch something or somebody close to you is I see clients or I see people that you're dealing with here um, but I, I see I see a good start I see you having a good start it's a fair start and it looks good I see you having a good start so, um, yeah, I do see money in December and I see money kind of coming in pretty good. I don't know if this is through business, through an idea, through your work or whatever, but I see st stable money coming in December and all oh, the Empress comes in January. So money is coming in through in January too, pretty solid and stable. And uh, I see Libra controlling her finances she's looking at her body is turned to money you might even have an accountant or someone who helps you with your finances uh oh okay so the seven of pentacles i do see something taking time to build though seven of pentacles tell me more high priestess Okay, and six of wands. Whatever this six, whatever this endeavor is, it will eventually, if you use your intuition, it will eventually be successful, but it's going to take time. 
but uh, you will see money in December and this and I see you building on something in January and it's probably going to really take off by June the uh, extension because we are way over This is the Tarot. Your relationship, where is it going from here? Your person, how do they feel about you? What do you need to know about your person? Crosswatcher, how does Libra feel about you? What direction is this relationship going from Libra's perspective? Is there anyone else that I need to be concerned about, that Libra needs to be concerned about? Oh, no, excuse me, the Crosswatcher. Is there anyone else at the Crosswatcher? Where is it going between Libra and person number one? Where is it going between Libra and person number two? And this is to jumpstart us in the direction. And we are jumpstarted by the Empress. Miss Libra herself made a grand entrance. Oh, honey, you're going to be doing it in January. I don't know what you're going to be doing, <laughs> but you're going to be doing it. <laughs> it's looking mighty good, Libra, looking mighty good in January, darling. So that is representing a wife, that could be representing a relationship, that could be representing a whole bunch of stuff, okay? All right, so get the extended and see what it's talking about in regards to your love life. If you want a reading, the number is at the top of the screen. Thank you for watching and God bless.